Number six from the free response section of the 2017 exam involves being given some uh, information of a graph in a table, in a graph, and also as a function, as they've given us here with f. Now, some of the keys is that we need to be able to use differentiation, differentiation rules using the notation. So we need to differentiate notation, and we need to then be able to express uh, derivatives, evaluate derivatives using the graphs, tables, and expressions. So it says here that we have a function g, h. g is in the table, h is in the graph, and f is, a, is the expression. And it says g is a differentiable function, and that's going to be key because this implies that it is smooth and continuous. The table above gives value of g and g prime at selected values of x, and h is the five line segments given. So part A says, find the slope of the tangent line of f at x equals pi. Well, to find the tangent line of f, we need to take the f graph and we need to differentiate it. So we're just going to differentiate f. And the derivative of cos is going to be negative sine. Because of the times 2, we, have a, we apply the chain rule. And plus. The derivative of e is e, and then because of the sine, the embedded sine, we're going to use a chain rule and multiply by cos x. So it looks like this, negative 2 sine 2x two plus e to the sine x cos x, and then we want to evaluate this at pi, and that will give us the slope of that point. So we end up with negative 2 sine of 2 pi, which is equal to 0, plus e to the sine of pi, which is equal to 0, and then cos of pi, which is equal to negative 1. So here we end up with uh, 0 plus e to the 0 times negative 1, so the slope is equal to negative 1. Part B says, let k be the function defined by h of f of x, and it asks us to find the derivative at pi. So here we need to first of all differentiate using the notation. So if I want to find k prime, What I'm going to do is I'm going to differentiate this notation. So I'm going to differentiate the outside. And then using chain rule, I'm going to differentiate the inside expression. Okay, so there's my expression for my k prime. So at pi, I need to evaluate this. So this is h prime of f at pi times f prime at pi as well. So I have the f prime at pi already defined. So I know that f prime at pi, maybe I'm just going to clarify this up here, f prime evaluated at pi is equal to negative 1. We need to find f of pi, f of pi. so looking at this expression here above, f of pi, when I evaluate the f value at pi, it's going to be cosine of 2 pi. Okay, that's going to be 1 plus e to the sine pi, which is 0. And so I end up with a value of 2. So f pi is equal to 2. So then I'm going to embed this into my expression. So I get h prime. Well, f, f of pi we've evaluated as 2. times f prime of pi we've worked out as negative 1 okay from above and I'm just going to highlight this here that comes from here and the 2 value comes from up there ok 
Okay, so what I need to then, to finish this off, I just need to develop, determine the slope at of h at x equals 2. So for that, I go back to my graph here. At x equals 2, I'm looking for the slope value of that line. So essentially, I'm trying to find the slope of that segment. And I can see that the rise is going to be negative 1. The run is 3. So that value is going to be h prime of 2 is going to be equal to negative 3. Sorry, negative 1 third. So I plug in the negative 1 third into here. I have my value of negative 1. So the slope at of k, the k graph at pi is going to be equal to positive 1 third. Okay, so then looking at the mark scheme here, where the marks are going to be given, there's basically two marks going to give, be given for calculating the value of f prime at pi, okay, which we calculate to be negative 1. And then for part b, one mark is going to be given for determining this expression here, essentially differentiating the notation. And then the other mark is going to be given for the actual value calculated of one-third.